everyone welcome or welcome back to another video so for today i have a cozy little procreate draw with me i have a lot of assignments that are due soon for school so i actually have some digital drawing to do for school and i thought i would bring you guys along with that and you guys can doodle along sketchbook along digital draw along whatever that looks like for you so yeah let's get into it Okay, so I'm gonna get started on my piece and for today I am working on, like I said, an assignment that is due tomorrow. Uh, luckily we were able to work in any sort of medium that we wanted, including digital, so I am gonna do mine digitally. And I took some reference photos of my face for today, kind of like an above view. I think I'm gonna do this one. So I'm gonna be using Derwent. It is my favorite, one of my favorite Procreate brushes. I like using this pencil brush because I can get it like super thick if I press down really hard or like super thin and light if I just use really light pressure so it just feels the most like a nice juicy pencil and I'm able to get a lot of different line weights as well.
so I have my piece sketched out and now I'm gonna go in and erase what I want to erase so I put all of these layers in I put all of these sketches in separate layers because I wanted to be able to come in and quickly erase anything that did not belong this just makes it easier because that way I don't have to be like dodging the lines that I do want to be there so I'm just going in and erasing all the parts of the face that I don't want anymore Then some of my Venus flytrap areas as well. And some of my little agaves. Okay, I'm going to just, you guys are going to see me experimenting. I'm going to see what I like and what I don't like and what looks good, what doesn't look good. currently using this retro supply company mr marker set this is my all-time favorite procreate brush set it's like the name suggests it mimics traditional marker very well i really really enjoy it i think my favorites I really like the classic marker, I really like the felt tip marker, I also use the canvas marker, and I have some other in my I have some others in my favorites folder, but I really like the poster marker and the flat brush marker as well. I just I use these almost every single time that I digitally draw.
So I'm just trying to add in with the Derwent pencil a little bit more detail, a little bit more sketchiness, and also tie in all the elements together a little bit more. I think I'm going to do some shading with the pencil as well. I'm adding some random darker areas into the background and the hair just to again incorporate it a little bit better and also add just a little bit of depth Now, before we close out today's video, I wanted to talk about our sponsor, which is Squarespace. If you don't know what Squarespace is, it's an all-in-one platform where you can create your very own website, and it is the platform that I have always used to run my website, my online art business, and my portfolio. They have some very easy-to-use tools that help me out with that, such as Squarespace payments for my online store. I am able to take payments right on Squarespace with any credit or debit card, but thanks to Squarespace payments, I can also take Apple Pay, Afterpay, Klarna, all that fun stuff. They have very flexible website templates that can help you get started but also customize your site to match your branding so if you are interested in building a website with squarespace you can go to squarespace.com for a free trial and you can use my code for 10 percent off your first purchase